Yes, with COVID and all that stuff going on in the world right now, it sure is hard to meet up with other friends, I'll tell you that much. But it doesn't stop me from having a good time with the RCs I already have. I figured it was about time we actually gave this tracked loader a task with the four in one bucket. I know, safety rules say nobody's allowed to be in the skid steer when it's moved, the truck is moving. But don't worry, he's already dead inside. That's why I made him a supervisor. The task is simple. Pick up four of these pipes, put them on the trailer, reload the skid steer, and get going. Seems easy enough of a task. And we'll come around to the pipes here. We'll break them up first. Get them out of the way. Kind of segregate them each side. Then I can open up. Here I'll go sideways so you can see. I can kind of open up the bucket there. And kind of come down and then just kind of angle it and then clamp down on the, on the pipe itself. And then up it goes. <laughs> Pretty cool, hey? Beautiful. And about there. So in the last episode, I showed that I switched out the dual ESCs, the dual speed controllers for the motors, for a single uh, two by five um, saber tooth dual motor controller is basically what it is. If you guys didn't see that, you can check it out. If you're wondering how I'm able to maneuver and use this so easily. Remember, if you are going to put one in, use the right gauge of wire on the battery port or you will experience a brownout. Because the BEC is pretty good uh, on the saber tooth, but at the same time, if, it's, uh, if your motors are asking for more power and your wires aren't able to get it, you're going to get a brownout. This reminds me of the uh, or, uh, construction simulator I'm playing on Xbox right now. I think it's number three, where you get to do all these different construction things. Made me want to come out and do RC. <laughs> okay, now to get back on the truck. Okay, so I'm gonna get the weight up high. I don't have any uh, weight in there except the bucket, and then I'm basically gonna just back the skid steer up and get it to go forward. Off center. There we go, yeah. And then forward.
creative ways to get your skid steer back on the truck. Let's see if I can get it lined up here. Just turning around and then just basically pushing down on the bucket while backing up at the same time. Oh, I slid. Oh, my bad. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, it ain't easy, folks. The realism of this. Look at this, guys. He can almost drive away. I kind of want to see what happens when I do drive away. Is it going to stay? No, it's not. I wonder if I can still save it. Didn't go as smooth as it did yesterday, did it? Fully extended on that bucket there. There we go. That's okay. Doesn't always work on the first try. Hey, oh, almost. Beautiful, then I'll lift my arm a bit. Shout out to Black Sheep uh, Skid Steer on YouTube. Got some pretty cool videos out there. It's actually where I learned how to do this was with my RC Skid Steer, the full size, uh, with uh, watching his videos. I figured I would try it in small scale before I did it in large scale. And buck it up, backing it up with the tracks as I push it up. Oh, there we go, good balance. Push those pipes back in place. There we go, completely an illegal load. Love it, got the uh, skid steer hanging in the wrong part of the truck. This almost looks loading Kingsworthy. <laughs> Man, it's too bad about COVID and all that stuff, but you know what? RC continues to play on. Imaginations still are there to be used, my friends. And until next time, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next RC adventure. Bye! <laughs> Man, somebody get that guy a glass of water.